Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hand for Jesus yes, Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody excited this evening, shout a bigger hallelujah. 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 Let's lift up our voice and go before him in thanksgiving again for answer prayers on this third day of the week of spiritual emphasis, September 2019 edition. Give him all the glory for the first day. Give him all the glory for the second day. And give him all the glory for this third day. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for all you have done, for all you are about to, are about to do in this segment. Thank you for the word you send. Thank you for the source you save. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for healing testimonies. This is your doing and it is marvelous in our hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout aloud Amen. Ask him to visit you on this third day. Ask him he have not called the seed of Jacob to seek him amen. Lift up your voice and ask him to visit you. Go hear where the prayers of the righteous. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. In Isaiah 45 verse 19, Say, have I say unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye yes, me in vain. Lord, you have not gathered us in vain today. Lift up your voice and pray. La sheketo shakiba lianda la baka tushilia. Lianda kata shakiba la bala bashaliaba. Li kabo sheketa li bala 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 bala. Li kabo sholi balinda liba. Lord, visit us. Lord, heal us. Lord, deliver our lost by storm. Whatever the devil has stolen. Meet everyone at the point of his or her need is Lord, let someone return, Lord, with his or her testimony in his today. On this third day, Oh Lord, then let the reservation power be manifest. Lord, in this service today, Lord, give your people testimonies. Give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Send your word and let your word heal. Let your word deliver. Let your word restore. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we come unto you this hour. Oh, Jesus, the Bible said, Blessed is the man who that chooses to approach unto you and we shall be filled. Oh, we shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house. Lord, we have come because you have brought us. Le shokali katosha kiba. Le bralabo shianda liababa. Lianda katalaba. Ayuli ababa. Landolo bo shiakaba. Lianda la bralabo shalaba. Ayanda kaba. Sholi ababa liababa liababa. Ali kaba sholi balabala bo liababa. Ali kaba shakiba. Landolo bo shalaba. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your voice. Lord, send your word again to us. Keep us send your word. Send your word. The word in season. The right word. Lord, the sent word. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We have those unto Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Oh, Makaba Sholia Baba Vakatalia Balabundalia Balaba. Oh, Lia Kabashundelia Kabaliandoli Baliandala Balaba. Oh, Lia Babalia. Send your word again to your people. Oh, Balabo Shilaba. We have come. We will pun. So let the ancient world. We have come, we will open so let the Hey. 
flesh and blood, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come, we have come, we will be now, so let it Ancient world Ancient world Ancient world Ancient world Ever true Ever true Changing me And changing you Hallelujah We have come your seat in his presence. Welcome to this third day of September edition of Week of Spiritual and Fasting. And on this third day, God will do something marvelous in your life. Jesus Christ, the healer, is here. Announce to that sickness in your body, say, Jesus Christ, the healer, is here. Say it, Jesus Christ, the healer is here. Hallelujah. Don't forget, the anchor scripture for this month is Matthew chapter 4 verse 27. Matthew chapter 4 verse 27. The Bible says Jesus went about all Galilee. Teaching in their synagogue. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And healing all manner of sickness. And all manner of disease among the people. And I want you to know that the healing ministry of Jesus is available to all who believe. It does not discriminate. It is available to all who believe. In Matthew 9 verse 35. Matthew chapter 9 verse 35. Jesus went about all the cities and villages. Teaching in their synagogue. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And healing every sickness and every disease. Among the people. This is the second scripture. Verbatim with the first one we read. All manner of sicknesses. Matthew chapter 12 verse 15. Matthew chapter 12 verse 15. The Bible says when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from hence. And great multitude followed him. And he healed them all. He healed them all. Healing is for all. Provided that Jesus is the healer. He is for all. All manner of sicknesses and diseases. There is no sickness, there is no disease. Thou God 
cannot heal. Ambao Mungu hawezi kuponya kupitia mwanae. There is no sickness that will be an embarrassment to him. Hakuna ugonjwa ambao utakuwa kikwazo au kitu cha aibu kwake. Even though they have told you that is a special sickness. Hata kama wamekuambia ni ugonjwa maalum. Even though they have told you is a special case. Wamekuambia ni swala la tofauti. It is that kind one that Jesus can handle. Dio hilo Yesu analolitaka. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Our teaching series is receiving the miracle of instant healing. Receiving the miracle of instant healing. Kupokea muujiza wa uponyaji wa papo hapo. Leo ni sehemu ya kwanza C. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to know, we want to establish substitution as an objective kama malengo yetu for members to know that Jesus heals instantly ili washirika wajue kwamba Yesu anaweza kuponya papo hapo and we cited a lot of scriptural examples na tumenuku mifano ya maandiko mengi to prove that Jesus heals instantly kuthibitisha kwamba Yesu anaponya papo hapo hallelujah hallelujah the first example was the paralytic man mfano wa kwanza alikuwa ni mtu aliyepoza mark chapter 2 verse 11 and 12 malko 2:11 hadi 12 the man arise take your bed and go akamwambia ondoka and the man rose up immediately. Immediately he arose and took up his bed. And also a man full of leprosy in Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 3. Jesus ministered to him. And leprosy disappeared immediately. There is no drug in this world. There is no hospital in this world. Hakuna hospitali katika dunia hii. Leprosy can be healed immediately. Ambayo inaponya ukoma papo hapo. Even though it will take time for it to disappear. Hata kama utachukua muda mrefu. It will take time for it to dry up. Itachukua muda mrefu kwa hiyo mtu kupona. But Jesus healed leprosy immediately. Lakini Yesu aliponya ukoma papo hapo. Also we saw in Luke chapter 8 verse 44. Luka 8 verse 44. The woman that the Bible forgot to tell us her name. Biblia ambayo uh, mwanamke ambaye Biblia haikumtaja jina. Changamoto yake haikuruhusu watu wajue jina lake. A woman who have, the blood have been full, flowing consecutively for Mwanamke aliyekuwa akitokwa damu bila kukoma kwa miaka 12. Miaka 12. And the Bible says she has spent all her living. Biblia inasema alitumia vyote upon all the doctors she know. Kwa ajili ya matabibu wote alikuwa na wajibu. Every hospital where they kila hospitali aliposikia kuna daktari. Popote walipokuwa kimwambia pale utapona alienda. Mali zake zote alitumia. Biblia inasema pale na kutumia vyote alionao. Hakuweza kupona. Lakini akaja kagusa pindo la vazi lake. Pale pale. Pale pale damu ikakoma. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Jesus still heals immediately. Yesu bado anaponya mara hata leo. He is the same yesterday. Ni yeye yule yule jana. Today and forever. Leo na hata milele. In Hebrew chapter 13 verse 4. Waibrania 13:8. He still Bado anaponya papo hapo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every day is a day of healing. Kila siku ni siku ya uponyaji. But the day you believe is your own day. Ile siku utakayoamini ndio siku ya kupona wewe. If you believe today. Kama ukiamini leo. That is your day of healing. Basi leo ni siku yako ya uponyaji. And don't postpone it till Sunday. Na usiairishe mpaka Jumapili. Usiairishe mpaka mwezi ujao. Because Jesus the healer is here. Kwa sababu Yesu mponyaji yuko hapa. And he will not be more powerful tomorrow than he is today. Na hawezi kuwa na nguvu kesho kuliko alivyo leo. The same power he had many years ago. It has not reduced. It has not reduced. It's still the same power that is today. And it's the same power tomorrow. Why postponing your healing today? Take your healing. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. In the first Wednesday, on Wednesday we told you. Jumatano ya kwanza tulikwambia katika kuweka msingi for you to understand that your total healing 
ili upate kufahamu kwamba uponyaji wako umelipiwa gharama yote. In first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20. Wa Korintho wa kwanza 6:20. The Bible say you are bought with a price. Sema mmenunuliwa kwa thamani. Therefore glorify God in your body. Basi mtukuzeni Mungu katika miili yenu. And your spirit which are God's. Na katika roho zenu ambazo ninyi ni miungu. That price was paid on the cross of Calvary. Hiyo gharama ilipo katika msalaba wa Calvary. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17. Mathayo 8:17. The Bible say at the cross he took your infirmities. Anasema msalabani alitoa udhaifu wako. He took your infirmities. Alitoa udhaifu wako. And he bare our sicknesses. Na akabeba magonjo yetu. Your healing have been established. Uponyaji wako ulishathibitika. It was purchased by his blood. Alinunua kwa damu yake. The price that the devil cannot deny. Gharama ambayo shetani hawezi kukataa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. But how do you receive your healing? Na sasa unapokeaje uponyaji wako? If your health have been attacked. Kama afya yako tayari imeshavamiwa. I said yesterday that God's perfect will for us is to be in good health. Nimesema jana mapenzi makamilifu ya Mungu ni sisi tuwe katika afya njema. When your health is attacked. Lakini pale unapopata changamoto ya kiafya. God have also a provision for your healing. Bado Mungu ameandaa uponyaji kwa ajili yako. That is why he introduced himself. Ndio maana akajitambulisha kwetu. In Exodus 15 verse 26b. Kutoka 15 26b. I am the Lord that healed thee. Mimi ndimi Bwana nikuponyaye. I am the Lord that healed thee. Mimi ndimi Bwana he made a provision for our healing. Alisha anda uponya juwe tu. Jeremiah thirty verse seventeen. Yelemia thelafini kumi na saba. And I will restore health unto you. Na minta kurejeshia afya. And if your whole health have been stolen. Ina mana kama afya kwa mebiwa. He will restore your health by healing you. Atarejeshia afya kwa kukuponya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Hasa hallelujah. But how do I receive the miracle of Esther healing? Sasa na poke aje mojiza uponya juwa. Yesterday we look at by engaging the power of violent prayer. Yana tuka angalia kwa kuangalia nguvu ya maombi ya vita au ya kwa. According to James chapter 5 verse 13 That when you are afflicted with sicknesses The first point of call is prayer cha kwanza kabisa ni kuomba connecting to the healing virtue from heaven jiungamanisha na nguvu ya uponyaji ya mbinguni is any among you afflicted ye kuna yoyota mepatikana na mbaya let him pray na ombe verse 14 say the prayer salwa 14 nasema is any sick among you mtuwa kwenu wamekua hawezi au mgojwa there are two things there there are two things in this scripture kuna vitu viwili katika andiko hii there are two things in this scripture viko vitu viwili hapa the first one is say if any of you are flitted anasema kama mepatikana na mabaya let him pray aombe that is the way you pray for yourself hibe ndivu na vujiombea mwenye but the second one say if any of you are sick Ye, kuna ambaye ni mgonjwa. Awaite waze wa kanisa. Ukisoma ye tafsi nyingine ya sema waungozi au viongozi wa kiroho. Amplifier na sema viongozi wa kiroho. Ye, kuna yoyota ambaye ni mgonjwa awaite waze wa kanisa au viongozi wa kiroho. In case your own prayer didn't. Na labda we maombi yako ya meshinwa. There are people God have anointed. Kuna watu mbao mungu wa mewapaka mafuta. You should go for. Wende. That is why it is not bad to come to a pastor to pray for you. Dio mana si vibaya kwendo kwa mchungaji kwa mba kuombe. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. They will pray over you. Wata kuombe. And apply no oil on you. Na kukupaka mafuta. Apply oil on you. Na kukupaka mafuta. Over 80% of people that come for prayer. Kwa asilimia themanini ya watu wanaokuja kwa jile maungu. Over 80 of them are anointed. Asilimia themanini wanaopaka mafuta. It's very close to me. I don't need to go far. Mafuta yangu ya kwa karibu sana wala sitaji kwenda ba. Because the Bible commandes you. Kwa sa Biblia meamuru hivyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer work. Maumbi ya nafanya kazi. Many people have received their healing through prayers. Wengi wa mepokia uponyaji kupitia maumbi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. How do I receive my healing? Napokia je uponyaji wangu. Instantly. Kwa mara. By engaging the power of testimonies. Kwa kutumia nguvu ya shuhuda. That's what we are looking at today. Nicho tunachoki tazama leo. By engaging the power of testimonies. Kwa kutumia nguvu ya shuhuda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's understand again that testimonies are prophetic to whosoever that receive and believe them. Tufahamu kwa mba shuhuda ni za kinabi kwa yule atakai zipokea na kuziamini. Testimonies are prophetic. Shuhuda ni za kinabi. To whosoever, not everyone receive testimonies. Kwa ye yote atakai amini. Sio kila mtu anapokea. And not everyone believe testimonies. Na si kila mtu anamini. There are many people that doubt testimonies. Kuna wengi wanao tilia mashaka shuhuda. And those that doubt testimony lack testimonies. Na wale wanao tilia mashaka shuhuda wanakosa shuhuda. There are many people who does not believe 
in any testimony. Kuna wengi ambao hawaamini katika ushuhuda wa yoyote. They see every testimony as a miracle. Wao wanaona kila ushuhuda ni maigizo za kutengeneza. I am healed. Mtu anaposema nimepona. They see it. Wanaona. They see it as a miracle. Wanaona kama ni ya kutengeneza tu. But those who receive and believe this. Lakini wanaopokea na kuamini hizi shuhuda they receive the same kind of Wanapokea shuhuda za namna ile ile. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Because testimony is prophetic in nature. Kwa sababu ushuhuda kiasilia ni unabii. In Revelation 19 verse 10. Ufunuo 19:10. The Bible says the testimony of Jesus. Sema ushuhuda wa Yesu. Is the spirit of prophecy. Ni roho ya unabii. That's the, the last part of it. Sema ile ya mwisho. For the testimony of Jesus. Kwa maana ushuhuda wa Yesu. Is the spirit of prophecy. Ndio roho ya unabii. In, in fact, testimony time is a prophetic time. Kiuhalisi wakati wa shuhuda ni wakati wa unabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. But many people does not believe in. Watu wengi wa hawaamini. Please receive the testimonies of others. Tafadhali pokea shuhuda za wengine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you will have the same kind of testimony. Na wewe utapokea shuhuda za namna hiyo hiyo. Even greater. Hata kubwa kuliko. Because what you if you attack testimony you will lack the Kwa sababu ukisema vibaya au kushambulia au kudharau shuhuda utakosa you know, shuhuda. What you attack you will lack. Unachokishambulia utakikosa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. We do our part as a commission. Tunafanya sehemu yetu kama huduma to make sure that the testimony shared here are true. Kuhakikisha shuhuda zinazotolewa hapa ni za kweli. That's why we go further. Ndio maana wao tunaenda zaidi. To ask questions. Kuuliza maswali. When we are registering testimonies. Tunapoandikisha zile shuhuda. We go further to ask whether there is a witness. Tunaomba kwamba kama kuna ushahidi. We go further to ask whether there is a uh, whether there is a medical Tunaulizia kama kuna taarifa au vipimo ulivyoenda kupima za daktari Kuna uthibitisho wote wa kitabibu The testimony yesterday why I didn't share it Ushuhuda wa jana kwa nini sikusema I needed the medical confirmation Nilihitaji taarifa ya daktari kuthibitisha Somebody shout hallelujah Haza hallelujah I'm not here in a bigger hallelujah Haza hallelujah because testimony is prophetic kwa sababu ushuhuda ni wa kinabii and we can allow testimony that is false to come to the altar na tuwezi kuruhusu ushuhuda ambao ni wa uongo utoe madhabahuni if we know na kama tukijua hallelujah hallelujah there are many people who have registered testimony kuna wengi ambao waliandikisha shuhuda and when they come to me na anakuja kwangu and i would drop the testimony there na naacha ushuhuda pale this will be telling me no 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 this is not a testimony ro mtakatifu ananiambia ushuhuda usio wa kweli the person might be angry huyo mtu anaweza kakasirika but we need to make sure that what, what we share in the altar is true lakini lazima tuhakikishe kwamba tunachokitoa hapa madhabahuni ni cha kweli somebody shout hallelujah haza hallelujah i say somebody shout hallelujah haza hallelujah i told you a testimony god someone was like somebody shared in last shilo Shilo iliyopita kuna mtu alitoa ushuhuda kwamba mtoto yule alipeponya mtindio wa ubongo. Akasema alimuona mtu alikuwa anaenda hiyo eneo na inaitwa Kalaba. Akamwambia nenda nyumba fulani kwa sababu yule mtu hakuleta shilo. Akamwambia nenda nyumba fulani kaangalie kama kweli huyo mtoto amepona. Wakati alipokuwa anatoa na kuthibitisha ushahidi. Na alipokuwa anaandika kitabu kwamba anaweza kuandika. Tunaposoma zile saa ya kiagano wa maombi he will be convinced that it is true not about the truth anashawishika kwamba huo ushuhuda ni kweli amefanya uthibitisho na kweli Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. Because why do we do that? Because there are a lot of things that happen in churches today. Kwa nini tunafanya hivi kwa sababu yako mengi yanayotokea makanisani? There are many people who forge testimony that's true. Kuna wengi ambao wanatengeneza tu shuhuda za uongo. We need to get them. Lazima tu wapate for them not to spoil the altar. Ili wasichafue na kunaji madhabahu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. That is why testimony we are not sure of. Ndio maana ushuhuda ambao hatuna uhakika nao hatuwezi tukausemea au kuunuku katika maubiri hatuwezi kuunuku katika maubiri what am i saying nachosema ni nini testimonies you believe ushuhuda unaoamini 
Come bring your own healing. Una uwezo kukuletea uponyaji wako mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The testimony you believe and receive. Ushuhuda unaopokea na kuamini. Come bring your own healing. Utakuletea uponyaji wako pia. One of the testimony does. Moja ya vitu ambavyo shuhuda zinafanya. Is is tear up our faith. Zinaamsha na kuchochea imani zetu. Is tear up our faith. Zinaamsha na kuchochea imani zetu. If somebody come and share testimony that God delivered me from the virus of HIV and AIDS. And you came to church that day. With headache. With fever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will automatically the fit for your fever to be healed. Imani ya wewe kupona homa ita ita chochewa. Because in your mind you will say if God can heal this time. Kwa sababu kwenye akili yako utajiambia kama Mungu anaweza kuponya ugonjwa huu sugu sio tibika. La kwangu mimi ambalo sio kwamba ni sugu ni rahisi. That is how the testimony bring instant healing. Hivyo ndivyo ambavyo shuhuda zinaleta uponyaji wa papo hapo. Tumeona katika huduma hii. We many people climb to test Climb to share testimony. Ambapo wengi wanapanda na kutoa shuhuda. They say so so service somebody came here and share testimony. Anasema ibada fulani kuna mtu fulani alitoa ushuhuda. And I key into that testimony. Nika ushikilia ule ushuhuda. And they receive their healing instantly. Na akapata uponyaji kupitia ule ushuhuda. That's why testimony time is a time to pay attention. Ndio maana wakati wa shuhuda ni wakati wa kuwa makini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you are celebrating what God have done to that person. Wakati unasherekea kwa yale ambayo Mungu amekutendea. And operate it to your own desires. Na ukionyesha na wewe kudhibitisha matamanio yako. The same God have healed that man that woman. Kwa sababu Mungu aliyemponya yule mwanamke na mwanaume. Is your own God also. Ni Mungu wako and there is no respect of person where God is. Na wala hakuna upendeleo mahali ambapo Mungu yupo. If God heal number 1, kama Mungu alimponya moja, he will heal number 2. Ataponya na mbili. All in test is to stay up your faith. Kinachohitajika ni imani yako iwe hai. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Yes, yeah, hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. What are we saying today? Tunachosema ni nini? Testimonies they yeah, they are ours. Shuhuda ni mishale that destroy sicknesses and diseases. Amba ina haribu magonjwa na maradhi. When you receive and believe, ukishai poke na kuamini. Please, they are not mere stories. That's what you need to understand. Tafadhali eleo kwamba sio hadithi za watu. Testimony is not coming to test stories. Shuhuda sio kwa jili ya kujia kutoa hadithi. But testimonies are evidences of God's faithfulness. Shuhuda ni ushahidi wa wamini fuamu. Evidences of God's faithfulness. Shuhuda ni ushahidi wa wamini fuamu. And the infallibility of the word of God. Na kuto kushindo kwa neno la Mungu. What testimony does? Kile ambacho shuhuda zinafanya is to prove to us that the word of God cannot fail. Ni kututhibitisha kwamba neno la Mungu haliwezi kushindwa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. It does not matter who it happened from. Haijalishi ni kwa nani imemtokea. Even though it happen in your enemy if you have one Hata kama ikimtokea adui yako na amepata ushuhuda ushereke Kwa sababu sio mkono wa binadamu uliyofanya hayo Somebody shout hallelujah Kwanza hallelujah Somebody shout hallelujah Kwanza hallelujah Testimonies 20 our showing that God is faithful Shuhuda zinaimarisha uhakika wetu kwamba Mungu ni mwaminifu Na imani ni rahisi kuijenga kupitia shuhuda Shuhuda ni kidole cha Mungu ambacho kinaondoa magonjwa na maradhi Haleluya Testimony give you something to expect Shuhuda zinakupa kitu cha kutarajia. Kinainua matarajio yako. Kama mtu amepona sasa hivi. You are going with expectation and say my own is already settled. Unaomba ukiwa unaenda ukiwa na tamanio kubwa kwamba na mimi ya kwangu Mungu amefanya. Most time we downplay the power of testimony. Lakini mara nyingi tunashusha na kudharau nguvu ya shuhuda. Because we don't know what it covers. Kwa sababu hatujui zimebeba nini. Let's look at example of in the scriptures. Tuangalie mifano kwenye maandiko. We find out that the testimony of the woman with the issue of blood. Tukagundua kwamba ushuhuda wa mwanamke aliyekuwa akitoka damu. What about perfect healing of a lot of others? Ulileta uponyaji mkamilifu kwa wengi. Who follow some steps? Waliofuata hatua. They had that 
that woman touched Jesus clothes. Because the news went everywhere. And many people began to touch his clothes. Began to touch his clothes. And they received the same kind of thing. One of them is, is written in Matthew 14, verse 36. Matthew 14, verse 36. And that is as a result of that healing. And they besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many that touch we are made perfectly whole. Because they had that, that sister had issue of blood. And and touch. Nobody have done that. Hakuna liyoefanya hivyo Jesus kabla. Jesus check the scriptures. The woman was the first one who touched. Yule mwana mke alikuwa wa kwanza kugusa vazi. And when they had it. Na waliposikia. They believe in the testimony of that woman. Wakauamini ule ushuhuda. And they touch also. Wakagusa na wao. And they were made whole. Na wakawa wazima. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. One thing you need to understand testimony. Kitu For every testimony there is a step taken. Kitu cha kufahamu ni kwamba katika kila ushuda kuna hatua aliyoichukua. Na wewe ukichukua hatua ile ile utapata matokeo yale yale. That's why in our testimony uh, sheet. Ndio maana katika ile karatasi ya shuhuda. Tunakuuliza changamoto ilikuwa nini? What step did you take or what did you do? Ulichukua hatua gani au ulifanya nini wewe? You might be that you pray. Labda uliomba. You might be you anointed yourself. Au ulijipaka mafuta. You might be that you fasted. Labda ulifunga. You might be that you partake the communion. Au ulishiriki meza ya Bwana. It might be that you stay up your feet. There is always something. Labda ulihamasisha imani yako. Kuna kitu ulifanya. There is always a step taken. Siku zote kuna hatua ulifanya. And that is what the major important ingredient of testimony ndicho kiungo muhimu sana katika shuhuda. What do, do I do? Nilifanya nini? Oh maybe oh I'm at I began to attend covenant of prayer every morning. Nikaanza kuja kwenye maombi ya alfajiri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Bible say they go from strength to strength. Biblia nasema wanaenda nguvu hadi nguvu. Kila mmoja anayetokea sayuni mbele za Mungu. Ulifanya nini? I went and won souls. Nilienda kuvuna nafsi mitaani. You heard the testimony of to us. Ulisikia umeona ushuhuda uliosoma kwetu. You can find about four or five steps. Unaweza ukaona seli nne. The first one is to destroy that break breast cancer. Cha kwanza ilikuwa ni kuharibu ile kansa ya titi. They were in church. Walikuwa kanisani. And they received the prophetic word. Wakalipokea neno la kinabii. Not only that. Sio tu hilo. They also went and went so. Wakaenda kuvuna nafsi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In every testimony of our steps. Katika kila shuhuda kuna hatua. That's why immediately they heard that this woman went and touched. Ndio maana waliposikia mwanamke amegusa pindo. And they went and touched. Wakaenda na wao wakagusa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not here we bigger hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. We see also pia tunaona that in raising the daughter of Zavius back to life katika kumponya yule akumfufua yule binti ya Iro Jesus put everybody yes out. aliwatoa wote nje except Peter James and John na pamoja na Yakobo Petro na Yohana walikuwa na testimony wakaangalia ule ushuhuda and a time came ikafika wakati Peter was to raise Dokas from dead. Peter ilibidi amfufue Dokas alikuwa amekufa. Peter put everybody out. Peter naye akawatoa wote nje. Let's read Luke chapter 8 verse 51 to 58. Luka 8:58. Peter nani. did the same thing Jesus did. Peter alifanya kama vile Yesu alivyofanya. And received the same kind of testimony. Na akapokea ushuhuda namna ile ile. Luke chapter 8 verse 51 to 58. Hamsina moja mpaka 58 Luka 8. He he came to pass. He said when he came into the house. Alipofika nyumbani he suffered no man to go in. Hakuacha mtu kuingia pamoja naye. Save Peter, James and John. Ila Petro na Yohana na Yakobo. And the father and the mother of the men. Na babaye wa mtoto na mama. And all wept. Na wote walikuwa wakili na kumwombolezea. When he said weep no, she is not there. Akasema msilie hakufa huyu bali amelala usingizi tu. And they laugh him to scorn and knowing. Wakamcheka sana. Knowing that she was dead. Maana walijua kuwa amekwisha kufa. And he put them all out. Akamshika mkono. And took him by the hand. Akamshika mkono. And and called saying made a voice. Akapaza sauti akisema kijana inuka. And her spirit came again. Roho yake ikamrejea. And she arose straight away. Na mara hiyo akasimama. 
to give her meat. Akamuru apewe chakula. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not having a bigger hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. And in Acts chapter 9 verse 36 to 40. Matendo tisa. Peter repeated the same step. Peter tisa. Peto nae akaudia kitu kile kile. There was at Joppa a certain disciple called Tabitha. Which by interpretation is called Dokas. This woman was full of good words. Manamke huyo alikuwa amejaa matendo mema. Which she did. Na sadaka alizozitoa. And it came to pass that those days that she was sick. Ikawa siku ile akaugua. And died. Akafa. Who when they have watched. Hata walipokwisha kumuosha. They lay her into a upper chamber. Wakamweka orofani. For as much as Lydia nigh to Joppa. Kwa kuwa mji wa Lida nao ulikuwa karibu na Yafa. Na wanafunzi wakawa mesikia kwa mba Petro yuko huko. Wakatuma watu wa wili kwake. Waka msi kusema usikawie kuja kwetu. Peter arose and went with them. Peter akaondoka kafuatana nao. And when he was come, alipofika, they brought him into the upper chamber. Waka mpeleka juu orofa. And all the windows, wajane wote, stood by him all the widows all the widows stood wajane. by him weeping wote wakasimama wakilia showing the coat and garment which dokas made na kumuonyesha zile kazu na nguo alizozishona dokas wakati alipokuwa pamoja na alipokuwa pamoja na that is another preaching for another day hiyo ni somo lingine la siku nyingine she touched the life of, uh, uh, of widows aligusa maisha ya wajane peter came he said she did this clothes for me mala peter alipokuja wale wajane wakasema mwanamke asife amenishonea nguo hii and peter put them all forth and nailed them he, na he, petro, the same way jesus did akawatoa nje akapiga magoti kama yesu alivyofanya and prayed akaomba turning to the body and said tabitha kisha akaelekea ile maiti akasema tabitha ondoka jesus didn't know the name he called it made her eyes yesu hakujua jina akasema kijana inuka and she opened her eyes akafungua macho and when she saw peter alipomuona petro she sat up akajiinua akaketi and she gave her to she gave her his hand and Aka lifted her up akampa mkono akamuinua uh, and when she have called the saint and widows hata akiisha kuwaita watakatifu na wajane akamweka mbele yao you hai Yesu Petro alimwangalia Yesu akifanya na yeye alifuatishia ushuhuda wa Yesu and God the kind of testimony na akapata ushuhuda wa namna ile ile somebody shout hallelujah Haza hallelujah i want you to understand Nataka ufahamu. If you don't understand what God will do next for you, remember the testimony of Yesu. Kama hujui Mungu atakufanyia nini mbeleni, kumbuka shuhuda alizozifanya nyuma. Remember the healing of yesterday. Kumbuka uponyaji wa nyuma. Remember the one he healed you last month. Kumbuka ule aliyokuponya mwezi jana. If the devil have attacked you again. Kama shetani amekushambulia tena. You can remember the testimony. Kama unaweza kukumbuka shuhuda. Present the testimony as a credential. Basi upeleke ule ushuhuda kama ushahidi. Na uponyaji wako utakamilika. Hata Daudi naye alitumia ushuhuda wake wa nyuma. Na kumwangusha Goliath. Samueli wa kwanza 17:34. When the first to face with Goliath. Alipokuwa ana kwa ana na Goliath. He remember that he kept his father's sheep. Akakumbuka kwamba alichunga kondoo wa baba yake. Na alipokuja Simba na dugu. Akamkamata mwana kondoo katika ile kuni. Akasema nikamkamata. And deliver this lamb from them. Nikampiga na nikamwokoa ile kondoo kinyume mwake. And when they came to attack me. Alipokuja kunirukia. I killed them. Nikamshika ndevu nikamuua. He said the Lord akasema Mungu yule yule. He said the servant said blow, slay both the lion and the bear. And this also consigned physician shall be one of them. Mtumishi wako alimuua simba na ndugu na huyu Mfilisti asiyetahiriwa atakuwa kama mmoja wao. And verse 37. He said Daudi akasema The Lord that delivered me out of the Bwana aliyeniokoa na makucha ya simba. The of the bear, na makucha ya dugu. He would deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. Ataniokoa na mkono wa Mfilisti huyu. If he deliver me from a lion. Kama aliniokoa na simba. He will this one is not up to a lion. Basi huyu hajafikia simba bado. It was that bado. testimony that boasted his faith. Ulikuwa ni ule ushuhuda ndio uliinua imani yake. And he went after Goliath. Na akamwendea Goliath. And that was how 
he came back with testimony. Remember your past testimonies. That God have healed you instantly before. When you remember that, let it build your faith home. Testimonies are faith boosters. Um, True testimony will overcome our challenges. Revelation 12 verse 11. They overcome him. One is by the word. By the word of that testimony. One is by the blood. And the second is the, the testimony that comes from the word. Stand up on your feet. Simama. Lift up your voice and appreciate it. Oh Lord, you have done it before. I know you will do it again. It is not just about your healing. Every challenge on your feet. Kila changa mwote yote, unaweka biliana nayo sasa. Remember the testimony of yesterday. Kumbuka shuhuda wa jana. The Lord that healed you yesterday. Mungu wa liye kuponya jana. He's still alive. Bado yuko hai. He cannot change. Hawezi kubadilika. He will never reduce in power. Na wala hata pungu wa nguvu. Take your testimony now. Chukua shuhuda wa kusasa. Lift up your voice and take your healing. Inuwa sauti yako, pokia uponya jiwa kwa sasa. Take your healing. Pokia uponya jiwa kwa sasa. Take your healing. Pokia uponya jiwa kwa sasa. Lift up your voice, Lord, you have done it before. Inuwa sauti yako. In case you have not, you have not received any testimony. Na labda uja pokia shuhuda wa kusasa. But you have had a testimony of others. Lakini umesikia shuhuda za wengine. You have had God humiliated HIV. Umeona jinsi mungu alipoponya ukini. You have had God humiliated kidney stone. Umeona jinsi mungu alipoponya ukini. Of hepatitis. You have had her go use somebody of Osa. There is no challenge. You have not had somebody share it upon this order. Stand on the power of testimonies and let your own be established today. Stand on the power of testimonies. Let your own establish today. Stand on the power of testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on the power of testimonies. Oh, command the land command that sickness, that infirmity Amor, in your life or in the life of anyone related, associated and connected to you or anyone that seek among you command that sickness to leave their body Angel of the Lord who have done it for others will do it for you the Lord that healed that woman of breast cancer oh, will do it still the God you serve, he will do your own command that sickness to leave you command that sickness to leave you Every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus you are caused. Lose that body. Lose your grip over that body. Lose your grip over that body. Lose her and let her go. Lose him and let him go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Bakatalia. We stand by the power of testimonies. Lord, those who have healed before, the kidneys who have received before, said there is such 
testimony of Jesus Shuna is the spirit of prophecy. Eshua Kabali and Dope Katuba, Eshua de Kuba, Eshu de Kalika Tobe, Eshua de Kuli, Eshua de Kalibalia Kote, Eshua Kabalan de Prekalia, Eshua de Kalia, Eshua Lia, Elia Balaba, Elia Dalaba, every terminal disease, terminated now, Eshua Kabalia Kote Kutia, Eshua Lando Belando, Eshua Kabalia, and Obelia Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Sante bona yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Sante bona yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Sante bona yesu. Lift up your voice and thank him. He's giving you testimony. Yako, mshukuru, wa. That sickness in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ Katka of Nazareth. Jina kula yesu Christ of Nazareth. It is caused in Ume Jesus' name. And not hearing a louder amen. Kazame. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed of every form of sickness and infirmity. By the power of testimonies. By the power in the word of God. And by the power in the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Any sickness that followed you to this service tonight. Drop off you now in the name of Jesus Christ. And now hear me in the Lord. Amen. Whatsoever my heavenly father have not planted in your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The healer himself. Let it be rooted out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be rooted out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be rooted out now in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is against that sickness, that infirmity. No matter the name you are called, I invoke the power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God have highly exalted him and gave him a name which is above every other name. And at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness bow. By the power in that name, that sickness I drive you out there forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose him and let him go. Lose her and let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. It is done. You shall be done with testimonies. And not hearing a louder amen. Somebody is here who wants to give his life to Christ. Here in Banana, in all our viewing centers. Wherever you are, raise your hand up. Let me pray for you. You want to return to Jesus. You want, to, you want to give your life to Jesus. Raise your hand up wherever you are. Why every other person stretch forth your hand towards the communion, everything you desire from the communion. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. The life and the flesh of Jesus. You know, in John chapter 6, reading from verse 57. Communion is one of the prescription of the great physician. He said, he that partaken of my faith, dwelleth in me and I am. He said, you have internal life. Internal life is a life that can not be afflicted with sicknesses. Lord, as I partake of this communion, Lord, 
I get access to internal life. Ninaingia na kupokea uzima milele. That anything that cannot survive in the life of Jesus. Chochote ambacho hakiwezi kukaa katika uhai wa Yesu cannot survive in my body. Hakiwezi kukaa mwili wangu. Lift up your voice. And let the yako. communion still was come. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Yako, Lord, by this communion, we renew, Lord, our covenant of internal life. Upia, the life, life that sicknesses and diseases cannot afflict. Oh, in the name of Jesus, is somebody praying? Omba. The strength of Jesus is coming upon you. Yesu Anyone the blood has been contaminated. That blood will, is flushed out now. And it is replaced by the blood of Jesus. As you partake of this blood. Let there be a spiritual blood transfusion now. Let there be a spiritual blood transfusion. Lord that blood has been afflicted with sicknesses. Be flushed out now. And be replaced by the blood of Jesus. Be flushed out now and be replaced by the blood of Jesus. Be flushed out now and be replaced by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Be flushed out now and be replaced by the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the desires of your people be granted. Flush out everything you have not planted in our body. Everything the devil have damaged, let it be restored by the blood. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Anything that needs to be repaired, let it be repaired. Anyone that need to for surgery, Lord, let that surgery take place by the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is blessed. Lord, the content in this cup and this place and now, the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And let this blood emit instant healing miracles today. Let it humiliate all manner of sicknesses and diseases. And give your people testimonies today. In Jesus name. Let's partake of it as we sing.
Hallelujah. We have those hands together. Stand up on your feet and thank you. I know something will happen in your life this seven days. And you are returning on Sunday with your testimonies. You are returning on Sunday with your testimonies. You are returning on Sunday with your testimonies. Even as you depart from here, the healing continues until your testimony is perfected. And not hearing a louder amen. And not hearing a louder amen. Amen.